Vectors is very often discussed via the exploration of how points, lines, planes interact with each other in the three-dimensional space. And if you are someone who has been having problem with vectors visualization, or if you find vectors a topic that is so huge that it's almost impossible to handle, then I have a good news for you because all this can actually become way, way more manageable once you have mastered three key concepts of visualization. And the first one is our visualization of distance. Let's take a look at this particular scenario. A, a vector that is given. B, another vector that is given. What if we want to calculate this distance here? And I'm telling you, you cannot use the formula. In fact, for vectors, if you want to visualize, you should try to prevent yourself from making use of formulas because formulas can only help you to do a calculation but never really the process of visualization. So if I don't use formulas, is there any way that I can derive this distance over here? Let's think about it. For distance that we are calculating, this is a scalar quantity, which means that most likely I'm not going to go through purely just the two vectors that is given to me in order for me to calculate the scalar quantity. We need a, we need a scalar approach. And to do that, let me introduce you to a very, very simple but useful geometry, which is actually just a right-angled triangle. If I have a right-angled triangle, if this is a right angle here, if I were to say that the hypotenuse here is R, and if I were to tell you that this angle here is theta, what I want you to first try to do for me is to derive this distance in terms of r and theta. To find this distance, let's say this is x, which means that cosine theta, this is equal to x over r. So x is going to be r cosine theta. So if I can see this portion here as r cosine theta, I'm going to try to apply this here and hopefully that will help me to do a little bit of visualization. Um, just a heads up, in order for this triangle to be applied here, we actually need to fulfill three conditions. In fact, this triangle is going to be so useful that um, we are going to give it a name. Okay, my students has given it a name, my students call it the magic triangle because this is going to be the triangle that can help me to calculate almost all distances questioned in vector 